Uh, after all these years in gymnastics, you're still doing really, really nice routines and, and still improving. Uh, how hard has that been to keep at it and keep improving? Uh, basically for me, it's my body's falling apart a little bit more than it used to. I never really had any problems with, uh, well, with anything. I barely had any physio treatment before, but now I find myself uh, getting physio every day. Um, but as far as the routines go, uh, I, I've been doing basically the same routines for a while now. You know, a little additions here and there, but um, uh, because of that, my routines are quite consistent. Uh, I, like I told the guys today, I hadn't missed a pommel routine or a P-bar routine since at least December or so. So to try to keep that streak going uh, on for the rest of the year uh, up to Worlds, I guess. <laughs> now, is it a bit of a surprise to find yourself in this position now where you're uh, uh, in a you're you're in a spot where the team is really quite depleted from what it was in Beijing, and you're looking at being one of the key guys going down the road. Yeah. Um, well, it is a change for the team. Uh, when you lose, uh, I guess, basically three of our top all-rounders in a cycle, it definitely hurts the team uh, a little bit. Uh, but the younger guys are stepping it up now, and they're starting to get some good routines together. So it's just a matter of time until the young guys can uh, fill the fill the void I guess, left by the guys that just retired. But yeah, being one of the older guys, I know that it's my job to be consistent and uh, basically just I don't know, help the younger guys as much as I can with anything. So far, I haven't had to do anything. They're, they're, they're good guys and they know exactly what they need to do. So uh, basically, I just have to concentrate on hitting my routines so that uh, I can take some of the pressure off of the younger guys and they can just try to do the best routines as possible.